as the sun rises over the city of Montego Bay, we're getting ready to install an 8 kilowatt hybrid system with lithium batteries. This one is going to be different. You guys should stay tuned. So I'm in a beautiful private community called Spring Gardens in Montego Bay. And for you guys who know Montego Bay, that's Freeport that we're looking at right there. That's where the cruise ships come in, you know, as they dock in Montego Bay. So let's soak up this view and jump right into the video. Morning, bossy. Just a check the instruments. I want to shout upon. So we're perfectly sold. I want to shout upon is um the ledge here, so on the roof. In order to minimize what's gonna hang over there, I want to check if it's all right. to take three feet over there on this side. So our panels, our panels would actually hang off like this. You see that? So, as I need 22 feet, I'm going to have 15. So I'm going to take three that way there, and four that way there, over up on the roof. So I want to go over too, too high, so it should be very, very strong still. So I'm just around that by you. So Give me back a apple real quick and fast, please, thanks. So here we are trying to fit nine 445 watt panels on this tiny decking. Solid aluminum construction. So this story started out uh, very simple, a customer reached out to me saying that uh, he's in the construction phase and he would like to go fully solar. The client was clear that he didn't want to put the panels on the roof, so we had to come up with uh, a solution to mount the panels. The Space that we have is uh, very limited and so we have to come up with solutions to mount as many panels as possible and that's where the specialist comes into play so once I looked at this space and took my measurements, I realized that we could fit six panels up here. 
but if we got really creative we could do a rack that would be able to fit nine panels and that's why we have a little bit of overhang which we normally don't but there's a good reason for that the reason I was able to hang the panels off the building by two feet is because this customer literally cut out a piece of a hillside basically and I don't know if you can see that but we're kind of tucked into the hillside so there is no wind factor back here the whole thing is cut actually all the wind will pass over the house by a few hundred feet actually from this direction in the back Now you might wonder why would the customer cut out a piece of a hillside to build a mansion. I would say maybe it has something to do with that view right there. Sneak peek. <laughs> yeah. So a space with this kind of layout requires constant AC to be comfortable. Um, to a certain degree, you know, you'll need air conditioning, so at least in the daytime, this type of solar system will be able to power you during the day, all day, so you'll have free AC during the day, and then at night, you'll be on your batteries, and that depends on how many batteries you have, you can start with a minimum amount of batteries, as little as one, you can even set up the system without batteries initially. So getting in contact with us is real simple. It's a real simple thing. Um, best way really is to just pick up the phone and call or you can WhatsApp us. So you can see the construction. The construction is extremely rigid. <laughs> There's a lot of some supports in the back here to a tree work on them stand up on it. So you know it's so strong. So right now we're doing our mark out and cut out for our battery rack. So in order to make uh, the rack as uh, inexpensive as possible and still very beautiful, we're gonna use lumber. So we're cutting up our two by fours and some two by two and some plyboard. And uh, by the time we're done, that should be looking really nice. So here we have our utility room. That's our inverter right here on the wall. And uh, as you can see, we've cut our high voltage line coming into the house we're gonna dress that back with concrete when we're done 
and our battery rack and stuff is going to go over here so it's all coming together right now the system is already wired in we're just um, we're, we're on the bypass side of the system right now so the house is currently running on JPS as it normally would and at the same time we're able to work on our system because of how we wired it we're able to do that So that's our Wi-Fi dongle right here. And we're gonna install it in the inverter. Go ahead. So one of the beauty of this setup is that you can monitor the system from an app on your phone. So we just hook it up to your home Wi-Fi and that's it, it's done. So I'll turn them all the way down to 62 and give them a couple of minutes let them go on room and show you what that what up with. Alright, so this is what it look like as far as the flow of current. So you can see you're making 3000 3, watts, 3200 watts and the house with the AC is using about 2000 with the AC being on. So you'll be able to have about a thousand going to your batteries at the moment. So yeah, you're able to run and charge at the same time. At this point though, I say, well, we already have plans to add more panels. So you do, you do need more panels if you want to run the AC and charge at the same time. So there it is. So this is what the system looks like. This is the interface showing you the flow of energy, what's been produced, what's been stored, what's been used by the house and what is coming in, what's been used from JPS, which as you can see it's just trickling about 20 watts from JPS. So here we have an 8 kilowatt hybrid system. As you can see, it's a very simple setup. We have lithium batteries, hybrid inverter. shows you what's going on with the flow of energy our battery is floating at the moment and we're only making a couple hundred watts from the panels because it's kind of bleaky outside now this type of system is a bit more advanced than we normally set up and yet it's a simpler setup
I want to big up my installation team as usual for doing a superb job. You guys carried out the design and executed everything according to plan, right to the T. Uh, this particular client, uh, from the very first phone call, we kind of clicked, and uh, you know, that's how relationships are formed, and uh, everything has flown very easily and nice. And as you can see, the, the, the work speaks for itself uh, thank you guys for watching our videos and uh, continue to support us by subscribing and of course hitting the like button sharing this content with your friends and family as well and uh, we're here to serve you in this in the solar field so you know give us a call whenever you're ready to go solar whenever you're serious about going solar give us a call I bet a lot of people live in Montego Bay. I've never seen this angle or seen this view. Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. Exclusive solar specialist. JA.com. Montego Bay. This is a view. I didn't even know there were islands out there. <laughs> <laughs>